what's going on world it's your boy sensei ripping them back again with another video earlier this week it was reported that eric holder the man being charged with taking the life of nipsey hustle was unable to show up in court after catching a severe beatdown while in police custody now at the time when the news was being reported a lot of people were confused as to exactly what happened to eric holder well today we got pictures showing Eric Holder and how bad his injuries really were. So according to this article from LA Times, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description so you guys can read the full article yourself. Eric Holder was attacked by a couple inmates in a slash with a razor. That's right, y'all. Uh, Eric Holder Jr., 33 years old, lost consciousness and needed three staples to close a wound in the back of his head after he was jumped in a holding cell while waiting to be taken to court uh, Tuesday morning, according to his attorney, Aaron Jansen. All right, Holder was back in court Wednesday, but with staples visible in the back of his head and his face obscured from a covering, or well, excuse me, obscured by a covering for the first time seen in this trial. All right, uh, late Wednesday morning, Jansen told reporters in the courtroom hallway that his client had been attacked while in a holding cell alongside roughly 13 other inmates. Holder had his head held down, or well, excuse me, Holder had his head down while resting his eyes when he was hit from behind. Jansen said, adding that the men punched him and cut him with a razor. Mm -mm -mm. They're not playing, man. They're definitely not playing. You know what I mean? Hit my man with that razor work, okay? Holder was then taken to a hospital, suffered bruising and abrasions to his face in addition to the lacerations. Yeah, so these are the actual details as to exactly what happened to um, Eric Holder, right? The two assailants did not say anything to Holder, according to Jansen, and a motive for the attack was not immediately clear despite the incident. Jansen said that his client was okay to continue the trial, so he was beat up bad, but not that bad. He'll be able to show up in court and finish out the trial, but yeah, man, what are y'all thoughts on uh, Eric Holder and this beatdown that he... Uh, court while being in police custody man like i said at the time when it was being reported we were unsure as to who did the, the beat down you know what i'm saying how bad was it and a lot of people in the comment sections were saying man i don't believe until i see proof well guess what y'all here's your proof uh shout out to street tv they're the ones who um apparently leaked this photo out to social media and they made sure to double watermark it so everybody know where this photo come from so i'm gonna go ahead and shout out street tv because y'all definitely bless people um with this photo like i said a lot of people were unclear as to what happened with eric holder but it's seeming like he having a tough time now according to the articles i read earlier this week um the police are actually supposed to watch over eric holder so how this happened still unclear but the point is man nipsey was loved by many people and when you do exactly what Eric Holder did, right, in front of the world on camera, you just made a ton of enemies. And that's exactly uh, what Eric Holder is going through right now. Like I said, I just want to make sure that this man can make it through the trial so Nip can get the justice that he deserves, man. But y'all let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Eric Holder sustaining these injuries? And um, do you think this is just, you know, <laughs> the worst to come moving forward, man? It, it, that's why I said it, it's, it's going to be crazy for Eric Holder, but this is a decision that he made. And now he got to deal with it. All right. My name is Sensei Rip. I'll catch y'all at the next upload. Till next time. Peace.